first I'd like to say that I was really pleased with all the feedback I've been getting from you guys regarding the Blender tutorial and I want to bring more your way. Now you'll notice in my last episode I created uh, this coffee mug that resembles the coffee mug that I've been using as my uh, show's graphic and we have a really nice representation of this but now let's take this a step further today we're going to discuss UV mapping what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a texture on the cup and it's going to have the uh, penguin on there and we're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux guys, I've been beating my head on the pavement with this one, and a few hours worth of persistence, digging through tutorials online have really paid off, and I've now figured this out. We're going to take up where we left off. Now, if you'll notice on this episode, we do not have uh, the buttons here. I found out there is a plugin for Blender that allows me to show my mouse keys up and down arrows are on the mouse representation right here and then if I press any numbers on my number pad or any keyboard shortcuts you will be able to see what shortcuts I am initiating as we work through this modeling procedure okay first let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and rotate and I'm going to create this piece of geometry that I did not put in yesterday because um, we're going to need this to have a good render. So let's go ahead and do that, select this. Now uh, in order to select these vertices, for some reason it's not showing um, Alt-Shift. Okay, and now to uh, to us to um, run an extrude and run this down the X axis, I believe. I'll press E. And then X. No, I didn't want X, I want Y. And I don't like that either. Let me try this again. Okay, I'm sorry, I need to go along the Z axis. So we're going to press E for extrude and then Z for the Z axis. There we go. And I just want to bring it down just enough. I don't have to bring it all the way down, but just enough so that when we look inside, you will see here that when we render this out, because I might do some animation with the mug, you're not going to really see inside the cup, so that's not necessary. Okay, now that I'm happy with that, now, I'm going to kill all modifiers that I have. Right now, I have um, some smoothing modifiers and stuff. I'm going to shut all of this off. And on this side, I want the shading to be flat. This way, I can easily select the geometry that I want, because now, in order to uh, place a texture on this, I'm going to have to break this up and spread it all out flat. Okay, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I forget what it's called, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> I've been racking my brains on this one. That's what it is. We're making seams to cut this. So, I'm going to press uh, Alt-Shift, and then I'm going to right-click here. on. And what it's going to do is it's going to select a line of vertices. Okay, and then as we go, we can select Mark Scene under UV Mapping on the left side. I'm going to go ahead and mark that seam. You'll see it'll turn red. And as I go along here, I'm just going to go ahead and start selecting uh, some uh, edges that I want to cut up here. All right, now, I also want this edge here right across. 
Okay, and I'm going to take this edge here just to see what kind of result I get. I want all of this separate, and you're going to see what I'm doing here. I'm going to go ahead and mark those seams as well. Now you'll see those are red as well. And now, just pressing Shift, I'm going to zoom in here. No, finger off Shift. I'm going to zoom in here, then press Shift. Not Alt Shift, just regular Shift because now I want to select and let's go ahead and tell it to select edges okay and then I want this edge this edge this edge this edge Maybe, uh, tilt this around a little bit so I can see it better this edge now I can press alt shift click this edge. It's going to select all these edges along the inner handle. And then, pre and then I'm going to just rotate a little bit because I want to make sure I'm selecting the correct edges. Or a little cut here. And you know what? I want it, I want this separated out too. So Alt Shift, select that edge as well. Let's mark those seams. Okay, see how that turned orange? All right, and then if we select all zoom out here, you will see which edges I have selected. Okay, now there's another edge I want to select as well here. So Alt-Shift, right-click on this edge here, because I don't want my penguin in the fly swatter to be uh, textured here. So I'm going to actually uh, mark that as a seam as well. Pressing all. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. Now let's go ahead and we are going to see this upper corner here where there's a little bevel. You can drag this over and we can have another window now. And this time I am going to select that I want UV Image Editor. I can zoom this out a little bit here. I'll select all on this one. I'm going to select File, Save As, and I'm going to call this underscore, because I'm doing this one for the video. Okay, and then Save As Blender File. Okay, good. Now, we can select here. See if I remember how I did this. Just showing the render result. And we wanted to create a new image. Why don't I move some of this over here so that I can better see what's going on? Image, new image. Okay, and uh, the width and the height, let's make that 2000. I'm going to name this UV map with two P's. And I'm going to select OK. Now, let's zoom this out. OK, and now we can unwrap. And then click unwrap again. Now, you will see here all of these little faces and that sort of thing that we have in our geometry that will allow us to texture this. Okay, I am going to turn this to its side here and I'm going to put this in texture mode so that I will be able to see the penguin as we are working. Uh, let me go ahead and get into a front view. 
and then shift and click I want this right there. Okay, very good. Now, let's go into image here where there's an asterisk here and let's open an image. And then I'm going to navigate into my folder where I have my work. And I'll go into my documents and in the couple Linux mug here. And then I have a COL mesh that I made in the Git. Now, to save a little bit of time, I decided to go ahead and skip the part of actually making the image in the GIMP because the runtime on the last video was way too long. Okay, now, what we need to do is select this entire image map. And let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can view our work. All right, and now, I am going to uh, press B for the box select mode here, and I'm going to go ahead and select this whole thing. And then we can scale, G for grab, let's try and position this first where we want it, uh, maybe right about here would be good, all right let's scale, the Y. Come on. Ah. All right, now we can go ahead and press G to grab. And I will position this right about here. You can start to see here that there's a penguin on the left hand side of the mug here. And I think I'm going to go with that. Now, we want all of these other textures black. Otherwise, what's going to happen is this image is going to repeat over parts of the cup, and that's something I do not want. So, let's press A to deselect everything, and then I'm going to use B for the box. And I'm going to select these vertices here. All right, and then I'm going to press scale. Doesn't have to be nice and neat. And then grab to move it. I just want this in the black somewhere. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. Now that's really not going to affect anything, but maybe I ought to move that up just a hair just a cat's hair. Yeah. Alright, and then we'll zoom out a little bit more and let's grab our box select tool again. Okay, I'm going to scale this now. Click to commit. G to grab. Let's move that over into a black area. You can even have these overlap. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It doesn't even have to be perfect. All right. All. Let me zoom in a little bit. Press Shift and then the mouse button here. And we can move up here. All right. Let's see what else we can do. All right, let's take the box tool again. Scale it by pressing S. G for grab. Eh. It's not what I wanted. Scale it down. Nice and tiny. Click to commit. G to grab. We'll position this over here. Everything's in the black. Now, you'll see when I cut around the cup earlier in this image, this is how I know which face that the penguin is going to be on. And now I can tweak this how I want it. 
Alright, I think I'm done with this for now, but I'm going to just go ahead and slide this over a little bit so it's out of my way. I can even zoom out here. I have a better view of that. And then, let's go into textures. And we're going to select a new texture. Okay, and under the type, we are going to select brain fart. Okay, this is what you do. Uh, you select the tech on the texture, and then um, you select image or movie. Why I didn't see that a moment ago is beyond me. And then we're going to select open. We're going to select our COL mesh that we just used. Open that image. Now you will see we have the image here. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit and uh, see what we have here. Image sampling, I don't think it's in here. How about image mapping? All right, I needed to press the material button here. And then we're going to select image or movie. We're going to open our mesh, COL mesh. Under image mapping, oh, I'm sorry, not image mapping, but under coordinates, we're going to select UV. And we've got our UV map. Let's have a render and see what we get. So we do have the image here, but let's go back and do some things with this. F11 brings us back to this screen here. Let's go back to our modifiers. We're going to add a subdivision surface of 2 to this. And then let's do some smooth shading. All right, now let's go to our top view here. And what I want to do is rotate this around after we have it selected, of course. Let's take this into object mode. And then we can So I want to turn this to the camera a little bit so we can see a little bit better. There you go. All right, let's go to camera view. And let's render that. I can see here that the penguin is looking a little bit fatter than I would like. So, let's drag this back out here. Put this back into UV image editor mode. We need to go into, we select this item here, go into edit mode. There we go. 
Okay, now, that penguin was looking fat, so let's go ahead and make him look a little bit skinnier. First, what I want to do here is this. Remember that and see what we get. Scale, oops. S for scale, and then let's go to X. Click to commit, and then let's render that one out. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And there you have it. Let's uh, just double check something here. I want to make sure I don't have any geometry. And look, I've got some geometry over, over here. And if we were to tilt this in 3D, you might have some artifacts here. So I don't want that. So let's go ahead and press A. B for box select. Let's scale this along the X. Good enough. Just as long as it's all on the black, I'm happy. I'm going to file and save this. And now we can grab this upper corner, drag it over, and very, very nice. Now I could even go as far as maybe increasing the subdivisions on this. And then let's render that one last time. And another way that I could sharpen this up is to subdivide this image. All in all, I am pleased with the result. If you thought this was useful, please leave a comment in the space below. I am cramming, cramming, cramming because the 300th, 300th episode is coming up and I want to do something really cool in with uh, 3D modeling and that sort of thing. So I'm going to keep tutorials coming up. At least it will give you a taste of what's coming up. And uh, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. 
Uh, we'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.